A transverse fracture of the mandibular angle is treated with a 2.0 mandible mini plate positioned on the oblique ridge, as described by Champy. A model with a simulated skin cover is used. The objectives of this exercise are to understand the principles of load sharing across the fracture and the correct application of the 2.0 mandible mini plate at the oblique ridge of the mandibular angle. Loading across a mandible angle fracture leads to tensional forces at the oblique ridge and compressive forces at the lower border. These tensional forces can be borne by a 2.0 mandible mini plate positioned on the oblique ridge of the mandible. The compressive forces may be borne by the fracture surfaces, particularly at the lower border, provided there is an intact bone buttress. Therefore, load sharing takes place when the load across the fracture is shared between the fixation system and the fracture surfaces. Routine diagnosis of this type of fracture should include radiographs taken in two planes at 90 degrees to each other, such as a PA view and a pan-oral view. CT imaging may be used as an alternative. In a clinical situation, access to this fracture would be through an intraoral approach. In this exercise, the instruments needed are two bending pliers, the 1.5 millimeter drill bit with 6 millimeter stop, and the cruciform screwdriver shaft and handle. When working on a model with a simulated skin cover, surgical gloves are recommended to reduce the risk of an allergic reaction. Open reduction and stable internal fixation in the dentate patient begins with fixation of the occlusion. For this exercise, Ernst ligatures have been selected. However, it should be noted that many surgeons prefer MMF with arch bars because of the increased stability. A six-hole 2.0 mandible mini plate with center space is placed on the oblique ridge of the mandible along the ideal line of osteosynthesis, as described by Champy. The plate must allow for at least two screws in each main fragment and sufficient distance between the fracture line and the closest screw hole. The plate is contoured with bending pliers to match the anatomy. The first hole is drilled monocortically close to the fracture using the 1.5 millimeter drill bit with 6 millimeter stop. The drill should be held at approximately 90 degrees to the plate and bone surface. A 6 millimeter long 2 millimeter screw is inserted but not fully tightened to allow for any plate adjustment. It's also possible to place the first screw into the proximal fragment to allow for reduction of the condyle bearing fragment with the help of the plate. Another hole is drilled on the other side of the fracture. And another 6 millimeter long 2 millimeter screw is inserted. The remaining plate holes are filled with screws and they are all fully tightened. The Ernst ligatures can now be removed. The mandibular angle fracture is satisfactorily fixed and the mandible is functionally stable. The clinical result is shown in this post-operative radiograph. One alternative to the 2.0 mandible mini plate is a 2.0 mandible locking plate. Another alternative would be a 2.0 mandible locking plate or a 2.0 mandible mini plate placed along the lateral aspect of the upper border using transbuckle instrumentation. This exercise has highlighted the principles of load sharing between the fixation system and the fracture surfaces in a simple transverse fracture as described by Champy. Here are the main steps once again. Reduction of the fracture and MMF with Ernst ligatures. Adaptation of the six-hole 2.0 mandible mini plate. 
and fixation of the plate to the oblique ridge.